Using these applications, programs, simple tips has really helped keep my mental space a lot clearer, keep my computer playtime a lot more playful and fun and enjoyable. Oh, hello there. Today, I'm excited to share with you some practical applications, computer type stuff that I do that has been really helpful in organizing my productivity level overall. I'd like to preface this by saying, first and foremost, I think it's really important to do what I love. For me, that's always the first thing I check in about is, is this fun for me? Do I wanna be doing this? And I go from there. I've always been one who's loved organization and lists and I've tended more towards that. I've actually played around with in recent years, toning that down more because I know that the flip side of that is, I can sometimes become stressed out if I have too many things I feel like I put on an agenda for myself to do. I definitely think we can achieve a healthy balance there. That being said, I do really enjoy my computer playtime, getting things done, keeping things simple, organized. I'd love to share with you some of the programs, applications, and tips that I use. The first one is Google Calendar. I used to carry around a physical paper agenda calendar. While I loved that, I found I couldn't access it from everywhere and it wasn't as clean if I had to make corrections. Also, it wasn't linked into the rest of my life the way my Google Calendar is. With Google Calendar, I love how I can set things up with colors, I can invite people if we're gonna be doing something together. I can make an event have an alert so it sends me an email reminder. I can access it anywhere on my computer or on my phone. I love how visually appealing it is and easy to look at. It's a great size, the colors really help me organize. I appreciate how I can set events up to be monthly, yearly, weekly, daily, etc. I never worry about losing it. I don't have to carry it around. It's really simple. It also feeds into my Gmail, which brings me to my second favorite thing. Boom. Number two, Boomerang. Gmail has been great and Boomerang is a great accessory to get to Gmail. You can get it for free and I think you can Boomerang up to something like 10 messages a month. I pay for it now on both of my email accounts because I love being able to boomerang unlimited messages. What this means is you can opt to have emails resent to you at a certain time and date. There's also a great setting that you can click and that is to have it resent to you if and only if nobody responds in the thread. There's a lot of times I'll respond to an email client and I'll want to remove that email from my inbox because I love having a clean, clear inbox. But I don't want that exchange to get lost from my mind if I was hoping to hear back from them and didn't. So I'll boomerang it for an amount of time that makes sense for that exchange and I'll click that button only if this person doesn't respond. So I know that if I don't hear back from them, I'll get the message back and then I'll know that I want to follow up. Otherwise, I'll use it for emails that I don't need access to now, but I'll want to follow up on later, such as having a flight itinerary boomerang to me the day before I fly. By using Google Calendar and Boomerang, I can basically eliminate the need for lists in my life, which feels amazing. That being said, I still do like keeping <laughs> certain lists for certain things. And that's where I use Sticky Notes. That's my number three. Sticky Notes comes on Macs, and I know that there's apps that you can download. I used to have one before I had a Mac when I had a, a Lenovo laptop. They're great. You can have multiple Sticky Notes on your desktop. You can color code them. Here, I like to keep lists of things like potential video topics from awesome ideas that you guys give me. I have a Sticky Note with my yearly intentions on it so I can keep it nice and present in my mind. If I'm working on a specific project for myself or for a client, I might have a sticky note just for that for the day as well. They're great, they're simple, they're collapsible, they're right there, they're easy, I love them. I also love not going crazy with them and using them minimally. Number four, organized file folders, both on my computer and within my email has helped me so much. I won't go into too much detail about it. Basically keeping a simple organized file system that makes sense for you, I think is extremely helpful. Number five, my final tip is to clean out regularly and keep it as simple as possible. One of the reasons I purchased the MacBook Air with less space on it was so that I would have to do this. Because I edit my videos on my computer and that takes up a certain amount of space, I really can't have a lot of junk on there. I love this, it keeps me simple, it keeps me current, it keeps my life 
a lot more clutter free. Using these applications, programs, simple tips has really helped keep my mental space a lot clearer, keep my computer playtime a lot more playful and fun. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in more tips, check out my website. You can go to the contact me page. I offer chat sessions, coaching sessions, so we could do some one-on-one -on -one time to talk about how to help you simplify your life more. Also check out my program Simplify, talk about overhauling your life, and also give a section specifically on downsizing your digital clutter. Thanks so much for watching. It's a pleasure as always. I'll see you guys next time.